Great morning, great morning. Happy Monday, y'all. It's Monday. Thank God it's Monday. Thanking God for another day. Hope you all are having a great day. Now, we are going to wait on Crystal. But in the meantime, I want you to share this video. Okay, because we know somebody needs to hear this message. Okay. Let's see. Facebook knocked us off the first time, so we trying yeah, it again. Facebook was doing oh, their own yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. And you look, you look fabulous. Ah! Yeah. So that maybe that was just a bad connection that first yeah, time. Yeah, it could have been. It could have mm -hmm. been. It's like that sometimes. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful people. It's Monday. I had a great workout. Ah. Um, yes. Yes. It's time for me to take these braids out, though, child. Woo. <laughs> <Insta -who. laughs> yeah, I started um, my, my Health Matters Challenge this morning, so I got to get me a workout in before the day is over. Yeah, that's right. Our 15-day. Okay, yay! Yes! Because yes, our Health Matters starts. Yes, it does. It does. It absolutely does. <laughs> so on today, we're going to talk about discipline, not just discipline in entrepreneurship, but discipline in your daily life. And that is the one they, discipline is one of the things that most of us struggle with. And yeah. they say, um, you know, your daily habits create your success. And I truly believe that. So mm -hmm. I feel this is this is just my take on it. Be, mm. You know, I always speak from experience. When it comes to discipline, the things that we're supposed to do, right? Um, sometimes it gets hard because we try to overwhelm. Now, we've been programmed to do things uh, a certain way. So when you're trying to, like, unprogram it, and then you start mm -hmm. trying to do 20 things at one time, you're not going to become disciplined. So one of the things... Um, that I wanted to master a couple of years ago was working out every single day, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. Now it took a whole, a whole, whole lot of discipline. So what I did in the beginning was I started with working out three days out of the week. And then I started to, you know, once build those muscles and build mm -hmm. that mindset to work it out Monday through Friday. And now that I've mastered that, I also master when it comes to business it's my personal development. That's my priority. And mm -hmm. some of you probably thinking, well, you don't do any work. Yes, I do. I, I'm an action taker every single day. But my personal development is my main thing every morning. It's my priority, my prayer, mm -hmm. meditation, mm -hmm. all that. And the reason why is because if you don't have the right mindset going into mm -hmm. something, it's just not going to work. I don't mm -hmm. care how much mm -hmm. action you take because there's a lot of people working hard every day and they still not getting nowhere. Mm -hmm. It's because of the mindset and working mm -hmm. hard. It means nothing. It's about working smarter. You, right. There's people right now, like I said, working hard, working 12, 14, 15 hours. Mm -hmm. But where, where does that get you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's your mindset. And so every single day, that's one of my things now. This, this, I want to discipline myself on mastering having two hours of personal development, no distractions. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. I understand how powerful the mind is. And entrepreneurship is a mindset game. That's just what it is. So, um, Crystal, you got anything you want to say? Yeah, I totally agree with everything you said. Um, and I was, I was going to read something. It says that the most successful people in life are disciplined. So that yeah. will let you know that um, di how important discipline is, right? There's no mm -hmm. success without a, a discipline, like a routine, something that you are committed to doing on a daily basis in order to get you to that place. So even like with Candy, Candy says she wants to do two hours of personal development. That two hours of personal development is not wasted because it is a constant rhythm of information being poured into her that she's going to funnel over into her business, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what di discipline does. It puts you on a rhythmic path. Yes. Right. So say you're on a rhythmic path and constantly doing something over and over and over and over and over again. After a while, you start to do it better. You yes. start to do it longer. You start to do it. Um, and it starts, you start to see the fruits of it, right? Just from having been on that discipline path. So 
I am on a discipline journey right now um, with the Health Matters Challenge, right? We're doing the Health Matters Challenge, and that's 15 days of being committed, right? Because discipline does require commitment. Yeah. Um, being committed to doing something on a daily basis in order to get an end, re end result or end goal. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're going to be doing is being committed to something um, in order to get that end goal. And that's what discipline does. So guys, if you're doing something and you're not seeing um, the results of it, don't worry. <laughs> the results, the fruit of it will eventually come. It's with that consistency and that rhythm and rhythm that you're going to start to eventually see, right. the, see the fruits of what you are doing, right? And that's one thing. When you're being disciplined, you can get frustrated because you can say to yourself, this is not working. Right, um, right. It is working, right? But you're working on you. So that working on you, like she said, it takes some time to unprogram yourself from doing Absolutely. something a particular mm -hmm. way and then getting into that place of um, rebuilding new habits. So just be consistent yeah. and just commit to being disciplined and commit to about 90 days. Right. I was just going to say that I was going to yeah. say 90 days. I know most people say 21 days. It takes 21 days to create a habit, mm -hmm. but I say 90 days because there will be time. Cause I'm going to be real with y'all. There will be days where you may not even do it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to start over because you're, you're not used to that. It's like, you got to really program your mm -hmm. subconscious mind. So you have to do it over and over and over. That's it's just mm -hmm. like, for me, personal develop, personal development is going to be like brushing my teeth. Okay. Right, it's going right. to be like a habit, like mm -hmm. taking a shower, brushing my teeth, you know, doing my hair. That is a priority. Right. So that is a priority. So I'm making that a habit because I know, things happen throughout the day and if i don't have my mindset right i'll just go down here and, and i have a goal to really um control my emotions to give myself about five to ten minutes to be upset and then let it go but, right um, right, go ahead, right. yeah that 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 is that is really really good and that that's always been a mantra for me is you know i i don't let things because stress is the um is 80 percent yeah cause cause of most Absolutely. diseases right and so when you you hold on to those things it can um go into something else so like she said you want to be able to have yourself built up beforehand so you don't fall into those things always carrying that weight worry and all of those other things that you really have no control over right people oftentimes worry about things that they don't have control over it's gonna happen it's gonna happen right that's and right you're worrying about something and it never even manifests right but you've been worried about it <laughs> and it it ain't even never happened and then that is so true yeah. you it you made like, you created a lie in your head in your head that yeah. you think is true yeah and you be saying oh my god i know this is gonna happen i know this is gonna happen and then it ha then it don't happen and you say i can't believe that didn't happen well, you built it up to something happening and that and, you know and you didn't have any control over it. That so, is so know, that is so Yeah. True. It's just so, like this too. Like with when with people uh, uh -huh. not to cut you off, but even with you people, fine. you know, like say if somebody don't text you back, you start thinking, Oh, why didn't you text me back? Did I do something? Like we have to <laughs> We write a book. We we create a whole story. Yeah, you know, I, I often talk about you know, like with uh, women, like um, you know, single women, because I am a single woman. A man yeah. will say, "Oh, you look beautiful," and girl, you done got engaged in your head. You done wrote well down the aisle. You done got the church, the wedding gown, and everything. <laughs> and all he did was say you was killing. I can't, <laughs> right? And you don't write, write the story. <laughs> you done wrote the whole story and you be like, oh. I ain't gonna lie, I did I, I used to do <laughs> <laughs> And all he did was say you was cute. And you done you yes, done married him. Yes. Right? And it was and it may have just been a <laughs> uh you know, like That's I'm from New York. So guys in New York, they will always compliment you. That's one thing I love about my New York brothers. They will always you could walk down the street, hey Ma, you look good. You know, but it's no nothing behind it right <laughs> nothing it's just a compliment <laughs> oh my gosh that was funny right? that tickled me because i've definitely done that before yeah and you done married the man so we make up these stories in our head 
um, about things. And that's it's even like with worry. That's one thing we do. We, we yeah. formulate these stories in our head and it's not even what it actually is. So yeah, absolutely. get into That's why you have to get into that position of being disciplined and starting your morning off great. Push that phone aside for at least 30 minutes in the morning. Right. Yeah, um, I agree. Yeah. Push that phone aside at least for that first 30 minutes. Right. That's something I challenge everybody who ever see this replay, this live or whatever. That's something you should do in the morning, because I know it has saved me from being looking on something and seeing something crazy. Right. Pushing that phone aside for those first 30 minutes of the morning and being able to get up there and and um, take time to pour into me. Right. Whether it's like she said, reading the Bible, meditation, um, you know, and my meditation is prayer, but reading the Bible, meditating, yeah, mine doing too. whatever yeah. you need to do, getting into the imagination of your mind. Right. Because that mind is a is a bad mama jamma. We just we don't take it for granted. If you look mm -hmm. at kids, kids imagination is so I mean, their imagination is like this. But then when we become adults. We shut down that imagination because but of the programming. Yeah. yeah, get into because of our experiences. Yeah, get into yeah, a, dark, a dark mm -hmm. place yeah. and just imagine, imagine the million dollars. There is not imagination is free, y'all. There is nothing wrong with just tapping into your mind and seeing yourself in somewhere else, yeah. right? And yeah. so that that even in the morning, that's something that you can do. But just getting into a habit of creating something that is going to elevate your life and not um, constantly put you in a, keep you in where you are. If this is where, if where you are is not where you want to be, let me say that because everybody don't want to grow. Everybody, some people want to stay right where they're at, right? But if you're looking to grow and elevate in your life and elevate your business, you got to do some things that get you disciplined to go towards that goal. That's, yeah, that's really saying. good. That's really good. So you all, well, y'all is what I say. We're going to end this live. We hope um, this was value to you and it really blessed you. But I want to piggyback off of this real quick and then I'm going to let you go. Really, really, uh, you know, put your phone um, to the side, as Crystal said in the morning. That is a game changer because if you just wake up and the first thing you do is pick up your phone and you see something negative, you you know, you kind of, I'm not going to say that you ruin your day, but it's going to change your mood and your emotions. And that's when you start to have that negative thinking, which mm -hmm. goes down to your body. Your body's listening to your mind. So, um, stinking thinking. Just, just go, go, go an hour without your phone. It's going to be okay. You're going to get your text messages yeah, yeah. Your from your boots. But yeah, right, your Facebook friends going to still be there and right. still doing what that craziness that they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. We're done for today. Love you, love you, love you. Love, love you, you more, Crystal. Candy. Have right, an absolutely amazing day. All right. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.